All right, today I'm uh, going to do the Hoi San style or Cantonese style. We call it Bak Chia Gai, Bak Chia Gai, Bak Jam Gai. All right, so basically poached chicken. And normally it's a whole chicken. We're going to do the leg quarter. So you can see the leg quarter come in here. I get a 10 pound bag already, get most of it. So I'm going to take the backbone piece out first. Like so, just real quick. And here, and I'm going to cut off the excess fat and skin part. And scrape it off like so. It's very simple, easy, because it's still gonna have some fat in it. So this piece I'm gonna save for soup ball. See, trim it off. And soup ball. So now to prepare, I got all my chicken uh, left quarter here already and ready to go. So that is for the soup. All right. Um, first gonna show you how to poach it. And then I'm going to show you how to use a minced ginger and scallion to make the ginger scallion dipping sauce. It's that's a, the almost heart and soul of this dish. Okay, so right now I have a pot of water boiling. Um, throw a couple whole scallion, a few sliced ginger in the water, and when it fully boil and um, And high heat, and what I'm do is like I'm gonna dip each piece in there first, just for f about few seconds. And if you get a whole chicken, and supposed to dip it three times, and let the skin um, go in there to kind of real branch. You can see the skin uh, slightly turn color. So I'm gonna, and I'm gonna dip each piece f in first. It's a very easy way to. To uh, cook the chicken because you, as you're gonna see, and later. You keep it boiling high heat. And If you get a whole chicken, a lot of people dip it three times. I'm kind of the chicken that quarter. I'm gonna dip it once, each piece only. And the soup bowl after I'm done, I'm gonna throw the extra bone. And if I get pork bones, whatever, I use it to make the this water. I'm gonna make end up uh, making delicious soup out of it. So uh, my 10 pound chicken leg quarter, I end up with 9 piece. So the key is to make sure you have enough water to put all the chicken uh, in there. So these are uh, 6, this might be a uh, 6 quart pot, I think. Now after all it's deep, I just gonna let it in here. I'm gonna wait until this thing come up the hot boil again before I put all the chickens in there. Wait. And now I just going to put them all in there. Make sure they're all basically all are submerged. And here's the thing, uh, a lot of people oh, oh. Okay, I might have too much water in there. Now, I don't want to 
have too much water in here. Now, so basically, now it's going to keep it in a high heat, bring it up to boil. After the water is fully boiling, and then you, I like to keep it boil for about six to eight minutes before I turn it off. Okay, now you can see it's fully up and boiling now. So I turn the heat down to about medium. I'm going to cook it for about uh, seven minutes before I turn the heat off and then let it sit there for 25 minutes. All right, uh, one thing you need to be careful, especially if you don't, your pot is not too big, like in here, uh, where it's boiling, you need to skim it the bubbles out so you don't end up have an overflow and have a nasty, uh, messy uh, oven to, I mean, the stove to clean. So kind of keep, uh, I like to use this strainer and to scoop up the bubble so I don't end up getting overflow the and there so you need to watch out so this is one that you have to kind of still keep an eye on it you skim it the bubble out and also you when you skim the bubble out it's better for your soup broth too so when you mix uh, chicken slash bong soup broth you need to you know do the same thing to skim it the bubble in the oil out the oily part of it out so you your soup bowl is not as um fatty unless you're young and you want to they have will have a lot of animal fats in your soup and your meal. Alright, so that's something I forgot to mention. Yeah now it's after boil it for eight minutes, we're just gonna turn it off and let it sit there for about twenty-five minutes before we check the chicken. So right now it's totally in here. I just make sure so right now just gonna let it sit there. That is the poach pot comes in aware. So just gonna leave it and we're gonna set the timer for 25 minutes and before we pick one up to check and make sure it's done. Okay. Now it's been sitting there for about 25 minutes now. So what um how I take uh test if my chicken's done. So I'm gonna take one out, so right in out here and the good old testing is take a um, chopstick and push the hole into it and then see the juice ursing out. So you could go in here and see if it, the juice ursing out, if bloody or not, okay? So that's one way we test it in here. And now you can see coming out, it's not bloody already. That means my chicken is done. And that's it. I'm going to go in here. All right. One thing real quick. Um, some people when they make this poached chicken, after it's done, they actually put a bucket of um, cold water, ice cold water. They throw it in there to um, get the uh, skin. So this, uh, this is actually serving cold. But if you want to, uh, we like to, for the first meal, we like to have it warm, serving warm. And so we um, are not gonna, plus I don't have any ice at the house.